This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied to the ring by Dark Order. From the Keep, weighing 193 pounds, born and bred for combat, Stu Grayson. Well, Taz, we mentioned earlier in the evening, Christopher Daniels doesn't believe there's an exalted one. And he is so confident that he would fight any member of the Dark Order anywhere, anytime. And that time is now here in our main event on Dark. Absolutely. And like, like I was saying earlier, I mean, we, we realize now that Daniels is not part of the Dark Order. There was a lot of speculation for quite some time, as you know, as Cal, but that, you know, Daniels was, was a, a pivotal part of. Maybe the uh, Grand Exalting High Mystic Ruler, the Exalted One himself. But the that Poobah. wasn't the, the Poobah. But that wasn't the case. And now we get Daniels and Grayson one on one in this episode of Dark. Should be a real good match for sure. Yeah, we got a little SoCal feel going on here. Scorpio Sky, Kazarian, Daniels. He's my guy, you know. I'm a Northeast guy. And his opponent. <laughs> my guy. They get company to oh. ring by NCU from Southern California. Weighing 215 pounds, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He never sings the whole song, just like a couple of little lyrics. Right, just does the I am part. It's uh. That's you getting rich. See, does that too. <laughs> doing, doing little little ad libs. Yeah, they bring the energy. Yes, to you for sure. All three men, excellent, excellent, top tier pro wrestlers. SCU. Kazarian, Sky, and Daniels have had their hands full of Dark Order as of late. And they could make a definitive statement here tonight with a victory by the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Yeah, Dark Order not impressed. You can just tell on the outside they're looking at SCU, namely Daniels. You have to remember, they tried to recruit Daniels. Heavily, they, heavily, dude. When Daniels was suffering that crisis of confidence, yeah, absolutely, and then he basically spit in their face. Yeah, he lost faith in his abilities, but his uh, his running buddies, his compatriots in SCU, Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian, helped Daniels regain his confidence. Well, referee Mike Posey trying to get control. Wow, look at this. Just told Kazarian what? and Scorpio Sky to get to go back to the locker room area. All right, well, turnabout's fair play, right? What about well, Scorpio. One, two, three, each knee side. Oh, boom, Posey. Sending, sending all the uh, all the non-participants to the uh, to the wow. back. Well, hey, you know what? This is fine. One on one, and you know Grayson, he, he's built for. He's a warrior. He's built for combat. He's probably happy. He probably, oh, he's oh, probably oh, happy oh. that they're, they're going back, including Evil Uno. Man, I tell you, that was some shot right there in the face to stop this match by Daniels. Whoa, 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 whoa. But Grayson with the bull rush sending Daniels to the corner. Daniels taking out months of frustration on the jaw of Stu Grayson. But hats off to Whoa. Whoa. hats off to Grayson for for weathering that storm. He's got one hell of a beard on him, Taz, both figuratively and literally. Exactly. But see that smart move right there by Grayson. He understood momentum th that that Daniels was building, and he got his rear end out of the ring to slow down. That's a veteran move. That's a top tier move right there by Stu Grayson. I dig that. And, oh, Grayson. Wow. <laughs> Coming in with that back elbow, launching off that bottom rope as Daniels sends Grayson into the ropes. Oh, nice leapfrog by Daniels. Grayson goes for the trip. Daniel, and now again. Grayson once again goes to the outside. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> Baseball slide by the fallen angel and another. Right hand across the jaw of Stu Grayson. Daniels had enough. Oh, oh man. man! We pointed out before Excalibur, just so people know, there is steel. That's a steel guardrail under the TNT and AEW logo there. Yeah, that's a, a steel barricade, uh, most akin to a bike rack. And oh! But, but heavy gauge steel, thick, very thick. I've been hit with those things. I've been thrown into those things. I've had my head split open by those things. They suck. 
So you put all the covers you want on him, he's still hurt. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just a that's just a layer of nylon basically over it. Right. That is pure steel underneath. As the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels up to the top. Diamond wow. body press. Hooks the far leg. One, two. Well, I love the offense that Daniels is bringing next Cal, but he just he's it's nonstop. He's just keeping the pressure on Grayson. He he understands you have to do that with a guy like Stu Grayson. Stu Grayson, of course, part of Dark Order. He and, and Uno are the number one ranked contenders for the AEW World Tag Team title held by Kenny Omega and Hangman Adam Page. This is Grayson's actually first singles match in All Elite Wrestling. As well, that's the tough thing, too, and you know the sex Calvin, when you're so used to having that that cushion or that, that little bit of a help where you could tag your your partner into the match when you're getting bounced around the ring Cover like you're seeing here. Uh, and that it's not there. That that guy's not in that corner for you. you yeah, know? it's so, almost almost like a relief valve. Right, correct. And it's not it's not taking an easy route or a shortcut. It's just, you know, when you used to tag team, and that's the deal. One on one's a little a whole different animal. Grayson through the clothesline, nice Daniels goes flip. up Look. and over. Grayson ducks under. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh. Just plants Daniels dead center of the ring with the Uranage. Yeah, definitely. Uranage driving Daniels into the mat really hard. And what a shift in the momentum there, Taz. Yeah, definitely was a shutdown moment, as I, I like to call it, where Daniels just got completely shut down by the Uranage. And now Grayson just raining yeah. down. Right-handed shots. Well, Daniels Look. smart trying to cover up. Sorry. Good. No, it's all right. A little bit of a receipt there. Yes. And this guy Grayson, man, like we've talked about a lot with him, he's straight warrior style, man. He just he loves to fight. He loves to compete. He really does. Different mindset, different temperament than even Uno. They're two completely different type of people, as you know. Yeah, Uno very, very much the um, the more methodical of yeah. the two. Oh, he's sketchy. He's, he's, he's He's sneaky. He's, he's not a good guy. You know. This guy. I'm not saying Grayson's, uh, you know, a choir boy. Oh, but he's all about competition. And we thought that uh, that Uno, for the longest time, was the uh, the figurehead behind Dark Order. But, oh, wow! That running knee strike. Damn. Cover one, two. No. And I mean, that's still maybe the case, Taz. This this could all be a big ruse. We might be in for yeah. For, Something of a, a, a non-surprise tomorrow night on Dynamite. I mean, would that shock you? It wouldn't shock me. Right, right or wrong. Ooh, oh, but Daniels. Up. One, two. Very nearly shocked Grayson there. Clothesline ducked inside cradle. One, two. Yeah, quick, quick roll up on that schoolboy. Nice oh. block and a no, couple of right hands. Three right hands. Make it four. Daniels laying in the heavy leather on Stu Grayson. Grayson, oh, the knee lift. And just a cross chops. Across the throat of the fallen angel. Runs through it too. Goes right through his opponent with it. Only a two count there for Grayson. Is it all you got? See how Dan just turns his body towards his stomach. That's the mark of a veteran. Once you kick out, you turn towards your stomach. You don't want to stay on your back. You turn away from your opponent. Those are little nuances that you know a lot of young wrestlers don't know. That's that's smart stuff right there. And Taz to expand upon that point, while Daniels is doing that, he was making his way toward the ropes too. That's right. To prevent any any sort of submission or follow a pinfall attack. That's instinctual, as you know, a lot of times. You know, Daniels doesn't even realize he's doing that. That's just years and years of competition. This is fun. Grace. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that? When he was going over the top, he said, This is fun. He is a dangerous, insane, sick man. I'm telling you. Born and bred for combat well, covers. Foot. Good job, Mike. Foot under oh. Mike Posey. Not his first rodeo. He knows who's doing. Yeah, Grace with nobody to blame but himself there. Having a good time, Grace. Like I said, man, he loves to battle, loves to go. Look at the, this. Is fun. You heard it. He's laughing. He's cackling <laughs> as he went over the top. That was pretty cool, actually. And Look now, at Grayson. Oh, wow. Nobody home, but he rolled through. Daniels catches. Oh, the exploder into the corner. Just dumping Grayson into the ropes. Yeah. It's a nice, uh, beautiful exploder as. Uh, I used to call a high high collar suplex where he gets himself a claw and a high crotch and goes into a back arch. And now, oh, Grayson sent face first into the rubble. Ooh. Daniels comes off. An explosive series there from Christopher Daniels. Hammer throw reversed there by Stu Grayson. Grayson telegraphed that time. Oh. FTO. Oh. Great job with that outer leg sweep. In the sport of judo, that's called the no soto gallery. That's exactly what that is. That will knock you out when you land in your head, just like that. 
Two thunder bomb. One, two. No. Oh, Grayson, very nearly defeated there. Daniels needs to keep the pressure on, and he knows that just as well as anybody. A hell of a match we got going on here, my friend. Incoming is Daniels. Hoop. Nobody home is Grayson able to dodge out of the corner. But he follows up. Bandera sends him out to the apron Daniels as he's following. Runs in. Oh, wow. swinging wow. DDT. Wow. Man, Lynch. Daniels. Oh! oh! Explosive knee to the face. One, two, no. Daniels kicks out. How the hell did Daniels kick out? That had to be pure instinct and nothing else. That complete strike to the face and neck head area by Stu Grayson. Impactful. And Daniels very slow to get to his feet. Grayson waiting behind. Well, he's got Daniels up on the shoulder. He's looking for nightfall. Daniels fighting out of it with those elbows. Daniels, whoa. Oh, wow, Grayson. Oh, 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 oh. Pele kick right there. Quick, ooh, Daniels step up, Enzi Geary. I don't know if, I don't think Grayson got all of that pay land. It looked like it didn't seem like he got all of it, but and, and I think that's why Daniels is right. able to come back with that end, end correct. of Gary. Correct, correct. And now, Daniels setting him up, calling for Angel's Wings. That yeah, might be Angel's Wings for sure. Oh, nice. Grayson, oh, oh wow. Counter. Countered. And this, oh, sits out, plants Daniels, covers one, two, no. Didn't hook the legs, Taz. Yeah, it did not. I think he just wanted to get, just top his opponent as fast as possible. Hence why he did not hook a leg. And he might have gotten that victory if he did to stack his opponent on his shoulders, which he couldn't do, Grayson. That might come back to haunt Stu Grayson. Is now he's taking a little bit of time to collect himself. Good point. Too long, maybe. Oh, Jones. Oh, he went for the best moonsault ever. B -B 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 BME, yeah, took a page out of Daniel's book. And now Daniels. Angels wins. Oh. Plants Grayson, covers, one, two. What the foot, oh. Excellent match sense by Grayson. You could see Daniels is like so frustrated because of that. And Daniels kicking himself, he knows better than that. You gotta hook the leg. These guys are just trying to grab victories as fast as possible with several high impact maneuvers for each athlete. <clears throat> Daniels bringing Grayson back up. Looking. Actually, Grayson turning the tables on Daniels. Exhaustion right here by both men. They're just leaving it all in the ring here. Yeah, Taz remember. Oh! oh! Daniels. Oh, wow. look at this! He's got Grayson. He might put him to sleep. I think he's definitely going to put him to sleep. The clutch, he's got it in there tight. Wait a minute. Oh. One of the, the followers of Dark Order. And now it gets taken. Good job, Daniels. Good job, Chris. Oh, right hand. Oh, look at this. A roll up. One, two. No. Grayson, Grayson. escaped. Oh. Grayson's oh. pissed that, that that creeper's out here. Oh. Grayson hoists Daniels up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Night. No. Oh, what a counter. One, look at this. two, three. Daniels. Oh. oh. Great job. A tremendous counter by Daniels to pick up the victory. But now, the follower of Dark Order and Stu Grayson continuing to lay in shots. Oh, yeah, they're not done. They're just getting started, Dark Order. And now, Reynolds and Silver. Oh, just swarming. Christopher Daniels. But now SCU. Yeah, come to the top. Even Cabana. The yeah, Cabana's out here. We've seen issues where he's like, we've mentioned this, helped out SCU with Dark Order. And Evil Uno. Seems like his plans are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Daniels. Nice down the follower. He's going to show you how to do that best moonsault ever. Daniel sends a direct message right to Uno and Dark Order, and whoever the Exalted One is. Is there an Exalted One? We will find out tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, TNT. Evil Uno, one down, one to go. And you know what? 
I see a lot of the dark order, but I don't see an exalted one anywhere. Probably because there is no exalted one. And when you and I finally meet, I'm gonna get rid of the dark order once and for all. Wow. Strong words by Daniels. Strong words, strong performance by the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. For myself, Excalibur, and my broadcast colleague, Taz, thank you very much for joining us here tonight on AEW Dark. Hope to see you tomorrow night for Dynamite and next week back here on AEW Dark.